Hi, I'm Robert Coleman. I'm a Senior Applications Manager at Texas Instruments. Welcome to PowerTest. Well, welcome to Power Tip 15. In this Power Tip, we're going to take a look at a low-cost, high-performance LED driver. This LED driver might be for LEDs in applications such as handheld portable electronics, white goods, or automotive applications. One of the challenges in these kind of applications is varying the brightness of an LED. Uh, there are two basic ways to do the variation of the brightness. One is to modulate the current in the LED. That is, if you want a lot of light, you put a lot of current into the LED. Low light, you reduce the current. This is not a particularly effective way to dim an LED. One of the downfalls of this approach is the LED color changes with different levels of current through the LED. The other is that the uh, LEDs are not particularly repeatable, and so you do not get good uniformity of brightness across multiple LEDs. A more effective way to dim an LED is to actually turn the current on and off and regulate the current to a specific current. In many of these applications, you're looking for a very wide range of brightness from the LEDs. The eye sees in a logarithms, so typically ratios of 100 to 1 are sometimes needed to dim an LED effectively. And so the other thing is that the eye perceives at maybe a 60 or 100 hertz rate, and so you have to operate your LEDs above this frequency. So with a requirement for 1% dimming and a 100 hertz frequency operation, you're talking about pulse widths on the order of 100 microseconds. Here is one circuit that we've used quite effectively in low voltage applications and is a, a power supply controller complete with a power switch. In this particular application, we have input voltage coming to the, our power supply, and then the input voltage goes through a current sense resistor, through our LED, through an inductor, and then the current either returns to the input line or the current is switched to ground through the Q1 transistor here. Typically, this power supply would operate in voltage regulation. That is, the output of the voltage would be divided and provided to this comparator input right here. In this particular application, we're not using the voltage control. We're running the LED power supply in current limit. So basically, the power switch is turned on. We monitor the current in the current sense resistor. When the threshold gets up to 350 millivolts, we turn the power switch off, and then the current returns back to the input through this path. And so this is a comparator circuit here, and it's very high speed. Uh, so we have response times in, in the microsecond range. Now, what we've done to this circuit to use it in a dimming function is we've taken a disabled signal and brought it into our, our normal voltage feedback line. So when the input exceeds our reference, we turn off the LED, and when the input is below our reference, we allow the current limit circuit to function. Here are some test results that we're able to achieve with this power supply. In the green, we have the current in the LED. In the blue, we have our control signal. This is the signal that's applied to the voltage feedback pin. And so when the signal goes high, it turns the LED off and the current goes very low. When it goes low, the current goes up to the, our current regulation point. You can see that we also have a minimal amount of ripple in the LED. Uh, we had no filter capacitor on, on the previous slide. That allows us to rapidly discharge and, and charge the current in the LED. And then you can see when we apply the disable signal that we get a very rapid decay in the current waveform. And if we had shown the rising edge, you'd see a similar kind of response there. Well, thank you for your attention. There are more power tips. Take a look at Power Management Design Line and search on power tips, or click on the link to all articles in the description section of this video. Thank you.